Greetings, fellow suiciders. Um, next song I'm going to go over is uh, one that I uh, see a lot of kids covering on YouTube, which is cool. A lot of you guys are doing it really good. And I'm just going to basically go over uh, the fills and uh, the middle groove of the song. So basically, I'm just going to do certain outlines of the song. The song is called Lifted. It's off of the new album. Basically, I'm going to go over it, and it's basically like the other warm-up I told you, where you're alternating from two hits to the bass drum, two hits to whatever else you're doing, and that's how you create the fill effect, like this. So, alternating two and two. So you're going... Very easy to do, very good to warm up as well, if you're just going to go... So, I'm going to go over lifted, and this is lifted. After that, I go into the blast beat, which you guys can figure out. Um, in the middle of the song, there's a groove right after the thrashy part. It does uh, two accents, uh, three accents actually, which is uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, dun, dun. And it goes into the groove that I will show you. So taking it from the accents. Now, what I do there is uh, the, the guitar is playing a riff, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't know exactly what the frets are, but the first half of it, I follow it with the bass drum, and then I do the accents, which is one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I go into more of a singular beat, which is just singles on the, on the cymbal with the snare. So it's just one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and and now I will play um, toward the end of it. It does another, like I said, the fill, the fill with the alternating kick parts. And um, it uh, basically it's, it sounds very similar to the to the intro, but it's a little different. So I'll, I'll show you it. And then um, I'll go into the breakdown right after it, and it does a, it's the part of the song where it stops and it goes, "This is not your reality." And a lot of our songs are are basically follow Mitch, our singer. So when he says reality, that's when it comes in. So that's the part where everyone has to be tight and in the same same vibe, same feeling, same you know, same grasp. That's basically that round of fills. It's the same thing, like I said. It does uh, one round of actual fill, then it does the alternating fill into that, and then and it's basically repeated, and it's uh, very similar to the opening fills. And it's just a little different, and you know, it's good to keep your songs uh, very similar in a lot of ways and very different at the same time. You know, you don't want to put too many different styles in one song, I feel, in my opinion. Put too many different styles. It's good to stick to one general style and kind of just rape it to shit. It sounded kind of bad, but basically, you know, take advantage of uh, that you've created a, a special, unique sound for that song and kind of, you know, work around it, keep it the same. You know, it all depends on the style of music you play, you know. You want to you wanna have some type of hook, some type of melody, something that people could think in their heads and remember that song and 
distinctively separate it from every other song in the whole album.